let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I'm going to be checking out another new track from Fit for an Autopsy. It is off of their upcoming record, Oh What the Future Holds, which will be out on January 14th of 2022, which at this point is really not that far off at all. I'm very excited. The song that we will be checking out today is called In Shadows. It's the third single. I did a video for Pandora as well as a video for Far From Heaven when those dropped. Both incredible singles. I love Fit for an Autopsy. Very excited for this album. Probably one of my one of two of my most anticipated for 2022 so far so uh it's looking very good i will link all of their social media and pre-orders in the description otherwise i'm going to stop talking we are going to get straight Those vocals are those. Fit for an autopsy in shadows. 
let's discuss. I'm probably now at this point going to stop saying like this is my favorite single until I've heard them all because I feel like all three of these have been extremely strong and when I got to Pandora, that's what I said about Pandora. I feel a similar way about this one. They have just all got me really stoked for this album, which at this point really is not that far away as I mentioned in the intro. It's December, the beginning of December now, so it will really be here before we know it. We'll probably get like one more single or so, I would say, um, next month or something like that, and I will wait and then probably pick a favorite single from there. But I'm very excited about what they're bringing to the table for me. I've mentioned a lot on the channel in general, on live streams, on these videos I've done for Fit for an Autopsy, but my favorite song from them overall is Napalm Dreams, and it's just something about the melodic aspects of it while still driving those heavy aspects to no end it's it's just a, a piece that comes together extremely well uh, the vocals on it and i feel like certain pieces of that i can see in this song though i do hope like the closer or something is is similar to or at least brent like hits that same spot that that song does as the closer for that album like just somewhere in there um flexing that their ability to just really nail down that melodic sound. It just, it, that song is on a whole entire different level, but that album really um, just consistently all the way through. But that was one of the things that really drew me to the band in general. Anyway, with this track on the chorus, I love those like, they're not exactly cleans. It's like clean, yelly type of vocals, um, but specifically on like the line that says this tortured and then like the way that soul goes, that is exactly like just what I love about the vocal style on here. And then as in addition to that, so that is probably my favorite part of the whole song. Like that is what I was looking forward to coming back around. Uh, I love that. It sounds excellent. Out of the three, definitely my favorite chorus on this one, um, even though, and that's not to say that the other two aren't up to the same level as i've mentioned this album just looking really good but uh that style especially on that soul note that type of thing uh, is what makes it stand out after you know just hearing it as my favorite without having to like second guess that whereas on, on other videos sometimes you'll see me like need more timeless stuff um when i'm certain it's because of something like that that's like 100 percent yep that's it for me um so i love that that's something else that will that will really make this album stand above the rest uh if that is done more so throughout the album but also like the the riffs um so the so what i'll say the unclean vocals the range absolutely excellent the lows were sounding incredible like you know as you i can't remember if it was right after the first chorus or if it was in the second verse or something but there were some lows that were just so like just so powerful so the lows sounding extra powerful here um, but the highs have like that flow to them that just sounds really good uh, especially with like those faster riffs uh, and then to kind of match that i talk a lot i feel on the channel about kind of a contrast or balance and stuff that kind of matches up like if you have like really fast paced at one point um something that balances out usually i like that a lot so like having that slow down in the intro and just or not the intro the outro i'm sorry the outro going and just kind of slowing down while just still just smacking all the way out i love that especially having the kind of fast paced riffs in there but yeah so in those parts with the highs a lot of them standing out i think it was the second verse where i was noticing it uh at first, but just those highs having so much flow to them and it really kind of adds to that balance I'm talking about that the outro added, um, slowing down to sort of those fast riffs. It's the same thing, just kind of vocally, if that makes any sense. So for me, those are the things after listening to this uh, for the first time. Actually, I did listen to this a few times after. It's one of those songs. Very rarely I'll hear one and I'll be like, I'm gonna listen to this like three more times just I loved it so much. I wanted to get like hear that this tortured soul part again and again, and I'm going to go listen to it a bunch more times. So very stoked for this album. January 14th, I will link, as I mentioned, the pre-orders, all that good stuff will be in the description as well as I'm sure a music video will come out for this with like within an hour of me finishing doing this video because that's what happened with the first two that I did. I do the topic video um, because I really want to listen to the song and because of when I can film and when I can't film with my schedule. And then usually like within an hour after I finish filming, the music video goes up and I'm like, but it's okay. 
because still I'm able to focus more and then I'll go back and I'll rewatch the music video like I do anyway. Other than that, you can also find my link tree in the description that will have the invite for the Discord server that I talk about all of the time. It is full of a bunch of my favorite people. It's got a lot of music related conversation, a lot of conversation unrelated to music as well. I just kind of a lot going on in there. So if you're interested in coming to check that out, that will be there as well as my Instagram profile link. On Instagram, I do keep it all music related. On Friday, I post a chart of what I've listened to the most over the course of the week, top 25 EPs, singles, albums. It just depends on what I've been listening to. And then uh, over the course of the week, I'll post two other posts, usually merch, sweatshirts, vinyl, shirts, whatever I have ready to post. And then if I've been to a show recently, I'll post about that, that sort of thing on my story about new songs that I find, YouTube videos, all music related stuff. So if that interests you at all, my handle on there is Rachel Reacts, just like my YouTube channel, but I will have that in the link tree in the description if you're interested in following me. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.